Hello, Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, really any placement of Gemini. This is going to be a reading for March 16th through the 31st, 2022. Welcome back, subscribers. Welcome if you are new. I have been um, a master healer for clients globally for the last four years. I offer clairvoyant psychic readings and healings as well as distance energy therapy. It does not matter where you live. Um, I have clients all over the world at this point. So the link below to my website, all the information is there and you can take advantage of a 15% discount that I offer um, for you on your very first session. So that's it. Let's get you an overall energy, Gemini. Oh, one of my favorites. You have the squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. This is bringing all the focus from outside of you and bringing it inside of you, Gemini. Where can you believe in yourself a little bit more? Where can you let go of outside validation or needing that outside approval, um, outside kind of proof that you're doing the right thing, being the right way, etc. Um, this is really an opportunity for you to strengthen your belief and your inner validation for yourself, um, which is really beautiful and a really powerful place to be. All right, let's see what else we've got for you, Gemini. All right, cards are out. Woo wee! First up, we are starting out with the King of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Tower card. Okay, Gemini, I am seeing your energy here on the King of Swords. And with the Eight of Pentacles, there is something that you have been working on doing your work, doing your daily tasks, you know, focused in on it. And the tower card is a message from the universe that what you've been working on may not be the right thing for you. And I know that can be a little bit hard of a message to receive, um, but this is where the believing in yourself comes in. It's okay if you put energy into a relationship that hasn't worked out or a project that you change your mind on or a friendship that turns out to just not be someone you know, that you feel lifted up around. So there's a deeper message here for you to really trust yourself, to believe in yourself on the inside with the work that you are doing. And if the universe comes in and gives you a tower moment, there is silver lining there. There is a reason for that. And the tower card is not always doom and gloom. It can be an aha moment, an epiphany, a realization, you know, recognizing something that you just cannot unrecognize and it really shifts your perspective on something. And this is a really important, I'm hearing that this is a really important lesson for you. And it doesn't mean that the work that you've been doing is wrong or bad. It has all been very necessary. So the effort and the energy that you've put into this relationship or this friendship or this work project, none of that is wasted, but it may not be in alignment for you to continue. So the tower card is just coming in to kind of shake things up a little bit to say, hey, are you sure? And that, hey, are you sure, the answer should be coming from within, not outside asking, what do you think? What do you think? What should I do? It's really believing in yourself that you know your truth, you know the, the decisions that you need to make and what is best for you. So kind of a... The silver lining here is you really bringing the power back to you to be the energy of this King of Swords, who is someone who knows what they want. They have the clarity. They know how to communicate it, ask for it, etc. So the Tower card is an epiphany, an aha moment, a realization that you may need to change things a little bit and to be okay with that change. Next up, we've got, wow, look at this. We've got 10 of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Emperor card. Holy moly, a lot of strong energies here. Um, this is in regards to a relationship or somebody that you are dealing with. And I'm kind of seeing this as if the Tower card has helped you to realize that you've been putting time and energy and effort into someone who maybe is not your highest and best match, 
by releasing that, this is what the universe wants to bring in for you. Ten of Pentacles is marriage, stability, long-term um, stability in finances, in partnership, etc. And the High Priestess is that beautiful energy of inner knowing, inner trust, um, you know, trusting yourself truly, which is the overall energy of the reading. And the Emperor is a long-term vision. So the emperor does not invest in anything that is not going to be worth it long term. So again, coming back to the tower moment, you may have been investing into something that just wasn't going to pan out long term. So the universe stepped in to help you clear that out so that you really can have your long term happy ending, Gemini. Um, there, these All three of these cards individually are very powerful, but to have them all three together, like this is where you're headed, Gemini, if you're able to get out of your own way, so to say, and to let go of, you know, that outside validation. It's really, you've got the high priestess in the center of your whole reading. So there's something very powerful to be said here around, you have all the knowledge within. Anything that you are seeking, you have it within you. It's also a beautiful card of balancing the light and the dark, the feminine and the masculine, and just really coming into alignment and balance within yourself. And that allows the energy of someone strong like the emperor to come in to align with you for those long-term goals and visions. Really beautiful. So again, just a message of kind of getting out of your own way and really trusting what you know within to be true. Last up, we've got the Hierophant, Five of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Hierophant, another marriage card, another card about long-term um, alignment with someone who has the right values um, and dreams and desires that you do. So Gemini, just feel a, a really big message is you letting go of things that aren't in alignment with what is for your highest good long term. That may create some, um, you know, little battles or uneasiness within certain relationships, friendships, living environment, a partnership that you're in. Um, but the Knight of Pentacles here is the new offer coming in that is going to be more stable. So if you've been investing into things that aren't so stable or haven't been, the Knight of Pentacles is kind of a reminder for you here that, hey, the stability that you're seeking is out there. So you may have an earth sign coming in for you, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. There's actually quite a bit of earth energy out here. I also have strong Aries, and if it's not another Gemini, you could be dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius as well. But there are so many cards around stability here for you, Gemini. A lot of stability coming in for you. So anything that has been unstable or taking you know, too much of your effort, too much of your time, be mindful of that. The universe may be stepping in to really help you shake away things that are you know, taking away from that stability or distracting you from the true stability that you truly want and desire. So, and also you've got two cards out here around marriage. So for those of you who are in a relationship or have a specific person, you may be clearing out things that are in the way of you two moving to the next level, you know, having that decision to move in together, making that decision to possibly get engaged or even consider marriage with one another. So I just see this as a huge growth period for you, Gemini, and you know, removing all things unstable so that you are much more on your stable path with a stable partner and just, st I just keep hearing stability over and over for you. So, all right, let me see what else we've got for you. There it is. All right, you've got signs. The universe is supporting you, Gemini. Trust, trust the signs, trust yourself. And in doing that, the signs will present and you will see them. So um, really beautiful match with believing in yourself because the signs are going to come just for you. Nobody else can see the signs. Only you can see those signs um, within. I love that. All right, let's get you a spirit animal message here. And then we'll wrap up the reading. Yeah. 
You've got the cougar assertive. <laughs> I love it. In silence, you find your power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. Just what the messages were. You know where to go and what to do, Gemini. You have the courage. It all comes from within. None of that is going to come on the outside of you. And that's a huge message and huge kind of lesson for you um, for the second half of March here. So stepping into your power and owning your truth is where all the magic will um, come into alignment for you and your life. Awesome messages. I hope this resonates with you. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Gemini. Thank you for the likes and subscribes. Um, if you missed the intro, I'm a full-time master healer. I've been um, specializing in distance healings for clients globally for the last four years. I offer clairvoyant psychic readings and healings as well as distance energy therapy. So it does not matter where you live. I have clients all over the world at this point. Um, the link below to my website, all the information is there. You can read about the benefits, read about the testimonials, and definitely take advantage. I have a 15% discount for your very first um, session with me. So you can take advantage of that if that is helpful for you, um, if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, Gemini, I'm wishing you a beautiful finish to March, and I will see you guys back here for the first half of April readings. Take care.